good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. There is this brother who is called Gucci Third Leg, and as you know, he's going viral for allegedly spreading that clap to not only one lady, but to multiple women. Before I get into that, I wanna kinda of talk about something. This guy is a pornography person. He's in the booty clapping industry, all right? Now what happened is, within his booty clapping, he decided that he wanted to go to Tasha K. And then a question was asked, does he like trans women? What about Diamond the Body? Diamond the Body, that's my boo. Okay. Now that, I think y'all was, um, y'all was in a relationship, right? Yeah. Okay. So y'all made content together and everything too? Yeah. Was it a real relationship? You, you gotta see it on the OnlyFans. It, here's the thing, cause I, I heard you put a hole in the wall. Why did you put a hole in the wall? When? Apparently there was some allegations being made um, that you like trans women, or you was making out with a trans woman. Is that true? No. I actually never heard that, that's funny. Really? You serious? You can tell by his response that he has a booty clappish response. And 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 I again I I have been to his page before what? since this is broken out. Are you and, you know, I, I I can honestly say I don't know if all of those are chicks chicks for what I saw, but some of them look like it could have been a mixture. I mean it was some clapping, so it was some cheek clapping going on. But again, some of them were looking a little bit, you know, mm, right? I will tell you a little bit suspect. Now, what also happened, guys, is this young lady the real Danae decided to expose him. I'm just gonna say, yes, he gave it to me. It's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg burned me with And he told me that he was gonna send me his test results and he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me and they're so young as well. He is preying on the young, he is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared and I was making so much money. I just, <laughs> I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. I know the people that already have it know exactly what I'm talking about. But whenever you realize and find out that you have something as severe as that, it, it's heartbreaking. It causes you to go through an immense amount of trauma and depression. I was going through so much at the time and i've already gone through so much so at the time it was very hard for me to speak up about anything i do fully disclose anybody that i have sexual interactions with i tell them before <sighs> nobody is made underwear I, you guys can demonize me whatever but i'm sorry hearing these girls sob and not know what to do because for a while they didn't know if that's what was going on it's so sad because the agency does not make you test talent testing does not make you test for that is one of the only things that they don't make you test okay so since we think that my story is so interesting and i have so many people tuned in let me educate the public real quick there are so many stds that people do not get tested for like uh, an STD that most men can't get tested for because you have to t stick a cotton swab in your tip in order to detect that virus inside of you. Most women don't know what they have until they're 21 years of age because they're not allowed to get a pap smear until they're 25. Mgen, mycoplasma genitalium, is an STD that people don't even know exists. Only porn stars get tested for that. You have to literally ask them and beg people high key because i remember one time i didn't get tested by talent testing and i had to literally beg my gynecologist to test me for mgen because they don't just test that test for it hepatitis there is hepatitis a b and c only c is curable and you have to go on medication for three months the rest of them 
And if I'm wrong, please correct me. The rest of them is lifelong. People don't even know about trichinomyces. They just know about gonorrhea, chlamydia, and HIV. HSV2 and HSV1. Two viruses that also are not regularly tested on regular full panels. I'm just telling y'all that before you sit here in a key key and laugh at the for finding out that they have an STD, make sure that your results are all negative. You don't know what's going on. You don't know the dangers of having Don't have unless you know, coming from a that didn't know that the person that they were about to collab with, her first collab was somebody who had an active sore. I'm stupid. I know. I did not know. I was uneducated about. I was not aware of what a lesion looked like. You guys can laugh at me. It's fine. I laughed at myself. I scolded myself. I bullied myself. None of the you guys are saying to me is stuff that actually hurt. I just need everybody to be aware. I do not want to watch another person lose their mind on my phone because they did not know that they were somebody that was going to give them her. Stay vigilant. And before you laugh at somebody, please be educated. Please know what the is going on. So let me let me just say this. OK, and this is a guy that has over 3000 bodies. He has an OnlyFans page. He doesn't use condoms and he's a booty clapper and he might be clapping transgender cheeks what did you expect would happen out of doing a scene with him see these are the questions that none of y'all really want to talk about these are the questions that none of y'all really want to ask and so when you guys are out here getting your cheeks clapped and then something happens to you as as young ladies because you're just trying to get on and you know, you want to get a name out there and then, you know, something goes bad because this guy never wears condoms, you know, you're upset. And again, I can understand you being upset because you shouldn't have, you know, been exposed to that because that was still wrong. Like, do you understand that this guy's Instagram is even growing larger? The guy is not losing out on people on the gram. This dude is still, listen to what I'm saying. He is still going to be getting cheeks he is still going to be getting more people out there and ladies are still going to let him clap it up i can guarantee you don't be surprised if he has more scenes allegedly he he clapped up this dude has deleted his instagram but whenever he comes back just know he's going to be clapping something up i can guarantee you i can guarantee you there is going to be booty clapping going on so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Appreciate you for all that you just heard about. We're out.